king has his reign. And then he dies. It's inevitable. I've been so lucky this past few years to work on some really high profile films, I mean, Avatar being one of those um, that it's kind of odd that most people on the planet know of it, so it's very exciting to be a part of that. And of course, J.J. Abrams' Star Trek, the last Star Trek and the current Star Trek that's in the works, Super 8, Cloverfield. Um, I'm still proud of Piranha, the work I did on Piranha 3D. It was a good fish. And there's some TV shows. Um, worked on Terra Nova. Did a lot of the dinosaur work for Terra Nova, which you know, there wasn't much design necessarily invention because the dinosaurs had to be realistic. And Falling Skies, and we're doing a lot of development now in terms of some TV and some film work. I've been working with Ron Howard and Brian Grazer for the past couple of years doing development on a variety of projects, and some of those are just now starting to get traction. I came on specifically to do creature design. I was going to do some costume, the uh, spacesuit that they were wearing, but that quickly went to co the costume department, as it should. And um, I focused all my attention really on creature. But the first project was the engineer. And that was like a real tough nut to crack because Ridley had a very specific idea. And, you know, when you look at that as a creature, it's very much a human being. So in terms of designing it, you're not really stretching the envelope. It's about the specifics of a cheek, a nose. You're, you're basically designing a human being, but one that is classical Roman, Grecian, godlike in our perception of Greek gods, which was, it was an interesting parameter. When, when Ridley first asked me to be involved with the engineer. He was very specific about what he wanted it to look like in terms of metaphors. And I was looking at reference of Statue of Liberty, the Michelangelo sculptures, uh, specifically David, and oddly, Elvis Presley. I did look at all of those, and it was really interesting because it was all about the profile, all about the nose, and the three of them have very similar looks. I mean, Ridley clearly studied all three, and he said, that is the feel that I want this to have. And in the end, you don't look at it and go, you know, that looks like Elvis. It, it doesn't. I don't think. I hope not. <laughs>